Hi Virgo. Welcome back. This is your February love reading, February 2023 love reading. We are going to see what is coming towards you. The general February 2023 reading is out. Um, and I'm actually taping this on the evening of the 31st of January. So I haven't quite decided what we're going to do for the giveaway for February. But for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. I do giveaways in terms of readings, in terms of gift cards, um, something different each month. So by going ahead, by being a subscriber, um, you'll be able to take part in the giveaway. This month, which is coming to an end tonight, is a two free reading, two free readings of your choice if you're chosen randomly at the end of the month. Um, up to 30 minute readings. So you could still leave a snowflake in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine today, which is the 31st. It would be, would have been for the entire month, but you know, there's only one day left. So you could still get those snowflake emojis in, in the comment section. And then I randomly choose two people at the end of the month. I will reach out to you by the end of this weekend coming up. Um, so by the fifth, I should have both people notified of their free readings. Okay. And it will be 30 minutes. And for those people that were chosen, you'll get to choose whichever you would, you know, love, career, messages from spirit. All right, let's get into your love reading for February 2023 for Virgo. Cycles. Closing out cycles. Allowing a brand new, fresh start. You know, not allowing yourself to get become um, unstable from anything that enters your life. It's like working on your stability, closing out those cycles that threw off your energy. For Virgo. All right, we'll take them. Ascension. Keeping your vibration very high so that love comes into your life. Um, even if you've been hurt, experience emotional pain, somebody walking away from you, you know, things not turning out the way you anticipate it. It's still trying to allow yourself time to heal, be patient with yourself, but raising your vibration. When you raise your vibration to like attitude is gratitude, there's more blessings that will come your way. Fifth dimension, for some of you, it's a soulmate connection. You've met this person in multiple lifetimes. You've dealt with this connection in multiple lifetimes. Connected at the soul level. And yes. So if you thought about someone specifically, the answer is yes. All right, let's get into it. your energy the chariot so with yin and yang which are the traditional two horses you're looking for something of stability of an equal give and take of peace and harmony in your life you may already want to take tor action towards someone with yes coming out so there might be somebody already on your mind but I feel like there's going to be movement between you and someone their energy king of chalices so they either have strong water in their chart or you know them as a water sign pisces cancer scorpio having their heart open for a connection be emotionally stable within a connection past energy for you virgo the empress you could have been dealing with a libra Divine feminine energy. Somebody who really shines, who has a great aura, really takes care of themselves, is happy on the inside out. Present energy, three of chalices. With three of chalices, it's like celebrating union. 
With it being a three, you might have a few people in your energy. But celebrating union. And in the future, four of chalices, holding back, wanting to make connection with you, but holding off. You might also be holding off, wanting to make a connection with them, but holding back. Bottom of the deck is three of swords. So for some of you, I really think that there was a third party or your person might have moved on to someone right after their connection with you. There's been emotional pain. All right, please clarify the chariot for Virgo's energy. The sun. You're ready to move towards happiness. You're ready toward, to move towards your dreams coming true. Definitely could be a fire sign. They could have water in their chart. Please clarify the king of chalices. The death card. I do feel like there was an ending with this person. With the knave of wands, they might have lacked commitment at the time. You know? But them showing up now as the king of chalices, I do feel like they're ready for commitment. I just feel back then, at the time that you were dealing with them, the energy just wasn't clicking and they weren't ready for commitment. Please clarify the Empress for the past energy. Yeah, in the past, I felt like you dealt with someone that you considered your divine masculine, but your divine energy. There was a breakthrough with someone that definitely intrigued you. It could have been somebody from your place of employment. Three of Pentacles. Taking a leap of faith. Noticing you at work. Noticing the effort that you put into things. I really feel like for some of you, it stemmed from work in the past. The current energy is... All right. We're going to take the one that flipped over. We'll see if these come back out. Yeah, walking away. Being... Okay, let's see. King of Swords. I really feel like this King of Swords was, and also could be the same um, air energy. Because of being so mentally strong, sometimes they seem emotionally unavailable. I have strong air in this chart, Virgo. You could be on the cusp of a Libra. You could have Libra in your chart. What does the future hold for Virgo? In the future, there's going to be an ending to the no communication. Take what placements you have in your chart, but I have water energy, fire, fire energy, and air energy. And we have earth too. But I feel like somebody made you part of a three-party situation or they had other offers and they just weren't ready to commit. But I feel like the connection with you was something that stuck out to them. And where they have held back is now they, they realize that you are their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. They want to tell you this Ace of Cups. They want to make an offer of love towards you. I feel like they're definitely in their head about this. All right, Spirit. Please clarify Virgo's reading for love. With the Eight of Coins here, I definitely feel like there's some type of business, like you connected through business or work. But 
but there was an ending. I still feel like you wanted to try this again with this person. We have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Leo, Virgo. We have these signs showing up, but like I said, take what's in your chart. And then it may be the energies. There is no talking in this connection as we speak, though. There has been silence and an ending. It's like they didn't want to make a decision, but now they're going to. Now they want this equal give and take with you. They might even show up and, and give you a gift. Yeah, see? It's like nothing else has intrigued them. You are what stands out to them. There's a reason they can't shake this. It's because for those of you that are um, experiencing a soulmate connection with this person, you think about them often and they think about you. You know it's a connection that stems a lot deeper than just this lifetime, multiple lifetimes. That's why they can't think, you know, that's why they're not intrigued by anybody else. Yeah, they had other offers. They had other things going on. They weren't ready to make a decision or settle down. But now it's like, you know, they're, they're done being indecisive. They're done with the silent treatment. They're done with the, the no speaking and not having you in their energy. They know that there's something deep here. All right, let's see. I'm listening to my higher self right now. My higher power is guiding me to you. See, it's like your higher self knows that in the future you're supposed to be together. I'm trying to leave my comfort zone and make my way to you. Our mission is to be unconditional love. Clearing our programming is a necessary part of opening our hearts. What might have prevented them from being all in is things that they experienced in their past. They could have had things in their past connections that were very triggering for them, that reminded them of things that went wrong, you know, and they their fears got the best of them in this connection. Spirit, what else for Virgo and their person? Oh, geez. No, we're not going to take all these. I usually take the ones that fall out just because it's not a personal reading. So it'll definitely, but not all of those. I think you're beautiful inside and out. Remember, I said the high priestess, it's like they were so intrigued by the way you looked. The way you took care of yourself. It's like they saw you for the soul that you had. And then on the outside. And this is confirming that. Love like ours can change the world. See? They're just waking up to this divine union. I'm awakening. I know more than I'm letting on. You see what I mean? I say it and then the cards pop out. Alright, let's see. We got Q, S, A, T, G, M, P, R, Y, U, E. D, J, we got a good selection, F, all right, these are repeats, let me get rid of them, I, O, I'm 
and these are all, do we have G? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, so the rest are repeats. So look at the letters and the messages that I just, re you know, read to you. Um, what came to me, what I said. I feel like somebody, from some of you, you had somebody specific on your mind, and that's why yes came out. But I feel like you're ready. You're ready to move on to peace and happiness and raising that vibration. I feel like in doing so, not only did you leave a lasting impression on this person when you, the two of you met, but it made them realize that, yeah, they have multiple offers. But I feel your connection with them shows them how much you care for them. Shows like to what extent you'll show up for both of you. And you made a lasting impression on them. They realize that there is something deeper about the connection they share with you. Always let me know how it resonates. And then um, leave that snowflake emoji you have till the end of today, which is the 31st. I'll be reaching out to you by Sunday, like I said. And for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. And then start February. will be a brand new offer, a brand new giveaway. All right. Love and light.